Good morning, good people. I'm Brother Bill Krauss, coming to you from Our Lady of the Angels Friary and Church in San Antonio, Texas. Today, May 14th, we Catholics celebrate the Feast of St. Matthias, the Apostle chosen to fill the apostolic seat that was vacated by the traitor Judas Iscariot. I've always been attracted to St. Matthias. Matthias was the name of my great-grandfather, and I chose today's gospel text for the gospel for my first Mass that I celebrated in Grainfield, Kansas, 48 years ago. It's a great post-Easter gospel. Two candidates, Eustace and Matthias, were available to succeed Judas and return the number of the apostles to 12. Both disciples were witnesses to the resurrection, and both were willing to have their names chosen by lottery to fulfill that position. After the apostles prayed to the Holy Spirit, Matthias's name was pulled from the hat. What faith, what humility, what great openness to serve. No ego on the part of either Justus or Matthias, just a desire that God's will be done. I remember being very impressed by our Capuchin Poor Claire sisters when they were telling me how they choose sisters to form a new foundation, sometimes in a new country. They put the names of all the sisters willing to serve in a new mission in an urn, and they place that urn alongside the Blessed Sacrament in the chapel for about a month, and then at a designated time they choose eight names from the urn, and those are the sisters that go on the new mission, and the others stay home and pray with them and pray for them. No ego in the process. Just a powerful conviction of the presence of God on those who go out on mission and those who stay home and pray. Freedom in the church, in the order, in our own individual lives, comes from obedience to the Holy Spirit working in a prayerful process of selection and decision-making according to our circumstances in life. Voluntary obedience to God's will will always bear good fruit. We face many unexpected twists and turns in our lives, so let's remember with Justus and Matthias that God's spirit, God's power, and God's shalom are always with us. We friars are praying with and for all of you. May the Lord give you peace.